the Los Angeles Bigfoot video in the Angeles National Forest. Now, this is affectionately known as the Hollywood Bigfoot. Because it is so close to Hollywood, it's only an hour away, drive away, but now what we realize is that the mountain lions are are in actually in Los Angeles. Yeah, this, I mean, that's that's just, I mean, it's, what, it's the drought. It's the drought, isn't it? It's, it's the just, drought. It's bringing animals down from the mountain. I'm not saying that Bigfoot is an animal. Please don't mistake. Well, it's an animal in, the, in that well, humans are animals. It looks like an animal. Well, humans are animals, too, so I, I guess it shouldn't be considered negative to call a Bigfoot or a human an animal, because since they're all part of the animal kingdom. But what's concerning is the drought is bringing them down from the mountains. Also, there are mountain lions in Los Angeles. Now, the thing is, how did mountain lions get to Los Angeles? They Isn't, can easily make their way along the ridges of the mountains, down through canyons, and right into L.A. So, so can Bigfoot. Absolutely, there is no doubt about that. So, but what is confusing to me, you find mountain lions as far south as La Jolla. Now, when we talked about which how which is very close to the Mexican border, and you, I'm sure you find mountain lions in Mexico. Well, you're right, and you find jaguars in um, in Arizona. They're making their way back. And, and jaguars used to be pretty plentiful in the United States. In fact, they said the saber-toothed tiger, which you find all over California, the skeletons, used to actually look or resemble more a jaguar than it did an actual lion. Is the saber-toothed tiger something they're thinking of bringing back in that location? In, they can't. In, they, they don't have any DNA. That's the only problem. Oh, they don't. No, they have old fossilized skeletons, and, the, and DNA degrades over time. It can preserve longer times in colder temperatures, and they're predicting that they're going to find all kinds of animals when the ice melts, but they haven't... Well, the ice is melting rapidly, so maybe there'd be a saber-toothed tiger. If there was some technology to have to have like satellites, live satellites almost, looking down as the ice melts in, in, in mountain areas... Well, there is... Um, I, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I, I have been following a documentary called Chasing Ice, and they've planted cameras in areas where ice is just rapidly vanishing from the planet. And so they have people scouring that, waiting to they, see... They are, they are. They're scouring that and they're looking to see what's being revealed. Oh, I want to talk about this in the next episode. There was something that was revealed briefly in the ocean or something? What was that story? Do you remember that where something was uh, revealed briefly in the ocean and then it melted, then, then it washed away really quickly? It was something... Those were... That was... If in, you remember, save it for the next episode.